Islam. First I rise, give perfect praise and adoration to the great God Allah. Honors to his holy and illustrious prophet, Prophet Noble Jali. Honors to the forerunner of the prophet, Mark Messiah Garver, who did indeed pave the way for the coming prophet and said, Up, up, ye mighty race, accomplish what you will. I will give honors to my uh, brother, man, and friend, Supreme Grand Sheikh of the Morris Temple of America, Brother Kenya Umar Bey. And I give honors to all the other Supreme Grand Sheikhs that are doing their part in uplifting fallen humanity and out in the streets doing the work and not at a pulpit preaching and uh, creating an environment that is causing Moorish American Muslims to be passive. I also want to give honors to my mother and father who did their due diligence in uplifting me and giving me the proper foundation to build on in the journey of life. And I want to uh, go into a small lesson uh, out of the more Science Temple of America. The Morris Science Temple of America, Holy Quran of the Morris Science Temple of America, Circle 7 divinely prepared by the noble prophet Ju Ali, by the guiding of his father God Allah, the great God of the universe, to redeem man from the sinful and fallen stage of humanity, back to the highest plane of life with his father God Allah, Islam. So right now I'm going to read a, a, a excerpt or a verse or an ayat from the Holy Quran of the Moral Science of America. It says, Divine Instructions from the Holy Prophet. Chapter 36, Holy Instructions from the Prophet. Know thyself. It says, Weak and ignorant as thou art, O man. Humble as thou oughtest to be. O child of the dust, wouldst thou raise thy thoughts to infinite wisdom? That's a question. Wouldst thou raise thy thoughts to infinite wisdom wouldst thou see omnipotence displayed before thee that's another question and then it says contemplate thine frame so in understanding what is being expressed in this verse is that we are to understand that we do not know everything although it may seem as though we do um, maybe some individuals may say that they do or um, act as if they do, but we don't know everything. And when I say we don't know everything, I'm not just speaking to the members of the Moral Science of America. I'm speaking to everybody as, that's a human being. We don't know everything, and it's important for us to be humble. And we are, when we are humble, we, we have the ability to have a spirit of gratitude. You know, So the spirit of gratitude is important in uplifting us as a people, the so-called Negroes, Blacks, and Colors, and African Americans, because we are the only people, or I would say one of the few people on this planet, they don't have a national identity, don't have national standards, don't have national principles, don't have a flag, don't have a constitution, don't have a society that is functioning uh, throughout the society of the United States of America. And as well as on the planet, you know what I'm saying? Because there's different people in the United States of America that do business all over the planet with different nations and different uh, corporations and different societies in other parts of the world. What is going on with the so-called Negro, Black, and Color? Why is it that they can't get together and work together? And if any individual takes it upon themselves to, to blame someone outside of themselves, whether it be the so-called white man, which is actually European, which would be the uh, so-called Hispanic, which is a variety of different Asiatic uh, nations of people who are known as Mexican, Honduran, uh, Cuban, Puerto Rican, ETC. Whether it be uh, so-called Africans, which African is not a nationality. Africa is a continent with 55 to 57 different countries, with 55 to 57 different flags, with 55 to 57 different constitutions and even languages, even religions. So we can't blame other people for what we are not doing. It just doesn't work that way. So we have to do as the uh, prophet Mark Messiah Garvey instructed us to do. He said, up, up, ye mighty race. Accomplish what you will. And with that, I came in peace. I leave in love. Islam.